All right, fastest 15 minutes on the internet, fastest 15 minutes in social media. And my name is Judson Powell. Uh, please bear with me. All right, so as we all know, it's Black History Month. And um, of course, we, we always get the same rhetoric around Black History Month. Um, like, big shout out to um, Carter G. Woodson, the founder of Black History Month. And all of the people that uh, that he helped or, um, to gain notoriety. But um, what I want you to do, and, th and this is like real important because we keep getting suckered into the okie doke. And this is one of those things that suckers us into the okie doke because they tell us um, the narrative is dictated uh, by the Caucasian population. So, we have a handful of people that they tell us about and, and we have a handful of people that they don't tell us about. And one of the most important things that they need to, uh, that needs to get out there is the fact that our history began 50,000 years um, before the year one. All right. So we've been here for a long time and the, the, the histories of, of, uh, of Nubia, of Kush, of Kemet, uh, Ethiopia, all of these places is not included um, in Black History Month. Everything they do is, is predicated, or the timeline is all predicated upon slavery, which is a disservice to our people. And I know everybody wants to be like, ah, oh, da, 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 da. But when we think about it, I mean, everything that, that is just like, for example, they show us, they, they show us and they make money off of us by showing us slave movies. I mean, over and over and over again, they, they keep on making the same movie. Okay, we understand that, that we were at one point, we were in slavery, but that's not our history. That's not, that's not the origin of our history. Our history began long time before that. And so... And, and, and a lot of people, because of that, um, and because of the way that they try to uh, make us think and, and make us live, um, we don't realize like where our, where our history actually came from, especially the, the history of, uh, of our spirituality, um, our, our great ancestors that, that built civilizations like Nubia, and, and like Kemet and, and, and those type of things and like Kush and, and the fact that um, the first libraries uh, are located on the continent of Africa. The first knowledge, the first wisdom was, was all, came, all came through, um, through Africa um, or Al-Kebulon as I, as I like to say. Um, so we need to understand that that history exists because that history is empowering. It's a, it's a, when you don't know your when you don't know your past, then you can't create the future. The other thing is we can't live in the past. We have to live in the future. The thing about it right now is, and I keep telling everybody this, is that right now we are at an unprecedented point in history because people have have now uh, become woke to what's really going on. I mean, not the fact that back in the 60s they, they didn't understand it, but now um, we have so many more people of all different races, creeds, and colors that understand what's going on and what the powers that be are trying to do. All right? And what they're trying to do is they basically, they don't want you to understand or to know your history. Why? Because if you knew your history that you were kings and queens and um you know, and, and invented all of these other things. There, there was, there were inventions long before um, this millennial. Um, there, there are inventions that go back years and years, like the light bulb and, and stuff like airplanes, helicopters, all of that kind of stuff. And the other thing that they don't want you to know is, if you look at the hieroglyphs or you look at the papyrus that were that were left behind. Um, a lot of the things that are very negative within our culture, within our society, um, 
those things were were not were not ultimately things that were created by Africans or descendants of Africans. Okay, so a lot of the a lot of the things, a lot of the perversion, and and the first my first job um, is as a comedic priest. So and as a priest, I have to point out these things. I'm not I'm not being um, I'm not being judgmental or negative. What I'm trying to say is realize that that is not your history. Um, the things that they try to that they try to put on your plate are not your history. The negative, especially the negative black on black crime. In fact, black on black crime uh, really didn't start until the, the 70s. The, you know, if they're going to teach history, well, they teach the true history. We didn't have black on black crime. There's no, there's nothing in the papyrus or in the hieroglyphs or anything like that that suggests that black that black men uh, harmed other black men. That's that's a creation, that's a creation of the Caucasian race and 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 white supremacy and white nationalism. That's what it is. It has nothing to do with you as a person, as a human being. As a human being, you should know that. Every you know that that we had a hierarchy, and that people you know we didn't have. If you look at once again look at the papyrus, um, and look at the look at the hieroglyphs, there are no jails, jail cells, mass incarceration, all of the things you know. And then we always we always make or we glorify uh, during Black History Month. We they make and they glorify people. Uh, you know, oh he was born. You know. That's the big overcome. You know, he was born a slave. Uh, he was a slave, and then he escaped. He was able to buy his freedom, and then he created this company or he created this this uh, profession or what have you. But if you go back and you really and you really think about it, it really look. Um, we invented it. You know that there's a book called Black People Invented Everything. So go back and look. The same thing is true, even with. Even when they look at, um, you know, the civilization and you start talking about the knowledge of the Moors and Moors, you know, we, they got people running around hating the Moors. They got black people walking around hanging the Moor, hating the Moors and the Moors civilized everybody. There was no, all of those things were not around. And then the other thing is when we start talking about rep, reparations, um, the whole thing for reparations is is the fact that we did invent everything, but we invented it, and then they used the law, um, you know, which I put on my lawyer cap. They used the law in order to steal everything that we created, everything that we that we invented, everything that we created. They stole it, just like um, you know, go like okay, George Washington Carver. All right. George Washington Carver. All right, they they castrated the man um, because they didn't want him around white women because he was so popular. Um, and then they took all of his ideas. All of the when you look at um, you know all of the the toiletry companies and everything like that. All of the all of the lotions and butters and toothpaste and everything like that was invented by um, Dr. Carver. But who ended up getting all the money? Who are the multi-billionaires um, in those things? And you can look, and most of them are what? Um, I hate to say this, but most of them are the owners of NFL franchises or uh, NBA franchises or both or Major League Baseball franchises. They got all of that money based on black inventions. There, there was no, you know, before black folks came along, you know, there there are even people that right now they they talk about uh, what was that? There was a I, I got I had to ask my wife later, but they they talked about the butters. You know, talk about cocoa butter and shea butter and all the different things that they that they discover. Well, where did they discover them? They didn't discover them in a in a lily white area. They discovered them in the diaspora, where where what where black people live. Why, you know, and, and the same thing, you know, but everything, everything that was discovered, even, you know, even the, you know, I remember like now 
they they're going to show this guy, the guy that invented. He was a he was an engineer. He invented the super soaker, super soaker, right? They stole all the money from him. He just got paid. He had to fight for years to get his money. And there's tons of and and what they did was all they did was go to the patent office or to the trademark office and they filed patents and they filed trademarks making those inventions their own. But even though they didn't they didn't invent them and there should be, you know, there should be some kind of thing. So we really don't need you know, I'm not saying don't give them to us, but we really don't need reparations. Just give us our stuff back. You know, we invented the law. We invented mathematics. You could go and you can look. They tried to burn, you know, that's why they tried to burn the library at Alexandria because they didn't, they, they wanted to take us out of history. The same thing is they don't want us to know our history before slavery because they don't want us to know what we did and, and what what our ultimate power was even even you know and, and i i try to not to argue with guys that talk about yeah well there were there were black people here before uh you know before the slave trade which is true because if you if you look at the at the um at the pharaoh kofi that's where they got the story from about you know the noah's ark and all that from but we had boats we had ships you know, black people sailed to the Americas long before they had to. How do you get the stories of the of, the, of Spain and Portugal and all of those people? How do you get those stories? They, you know, they arrived someplace and then all of a sudden they discovered it. They didn't discover shit. Excuse my French, but they didn't discover nothing. We were already there. And the same thing is, is is true with all the you know all the money that they made, you know, and raping and pillaging and doing whatever. Columbus, you know, we're finally coming to the light of Columbus didn't discover America. You know, why are we talking about Columbus Day? And nobody, you know, they uh, they you know Napoleon, uh, who went all throughout, and Alexander the Great, who went all throughout Africa. Uh, raping and pillaging and blowing the noses off the, you know, blowing the noses off what? Off the off the, the artwork, the Sphinx and everything else because they didn't want anybody to know that these were Africans and descendants of Africans that discovered all of this stuff. So they just made it, made it up and, and they stole it. But everything that's out there, you know, so that's why I always tell people, don't say that it's not yours. It is yours. And they don't, that's the one thing they don't want you to claim. They don't want you to claim historically what is yours. We discovered America. We, you know, why were there Mayans and Incas in, in South America? These are, these are human people. When I, when I gave that, when I did that teaching about humans and whatever, look at the papyrus and look at, you know, read the, read the things that are done by, um, done by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and also by Noble Drew Ali, the, you know, the, the leader of the Moors um, in the 60s, 50s, 60s, and 70s. They had, they had no culture. They had no, you know, all the food, you know, all the, even condiments. Y'all think about Heinz and all of these families that own all this, all this stuff. Well, it was black people the white white people weren't in no kitchen cooking for nobody. Who do you think was cooking that? Ain't your mama, ain't your mama, uh, Uncle Ben. All of these all of these foods that have made like billions of dollars over time were created and discovered by us. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Just simple stuff that we made up. You know, simple stuff that we even, you know, even my favorite, Jack Daniels, <laughs> black man. So until the, so re- during this time, remember that our history did not start with slavery. It started way before slavery, way, 50,000, according to Heru on the horizon, Heru, 
uh, which is the Sphinx. The Sphinx is 50,000 years old. Anyway, that's all the time I got. I love you. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button.